video is the continuation of the previous problem. So the, in the previous problem, we mentioned that the, on average, students spend 60 seconds to answer a quiz question and the time follows uniform distribution. So the minimum is zero, the maximum is 60, the probability density function is one divided by 60 minus zero, right? So we have a one over 60 as our probability density function and then there is the graph. So this problem we want to focus on answering a conditional probability question because you have to modify the probability distribution function or the probability density function, the PDF. So suppose a student has spent 15 seconds on a quiz question, but the question is not solved. Find the probability that the quiz question can be answered in the next 23 seconds. So in part H, the next 23, what does that mean? That means a 15 plus 23 that is equals to 38. Or I can change the problem to given that the time is greater than or equal to 15 seconds. What is the probability? Now, let, let, listen to me. This problem can be phrased in a different way. Suppose that a student has spent 15 seconds on a quiz question, but the question is not solved. So let me change the problem to you. For you. Find the probability that the question can be answered in less than 38 seconds. So that is another way to replace the word next 23. All right, next 23, that means you add 23 to it. So you see what the time window is. So the picture is like that. So at this point is 15, right? So next 23, so that means you go ahead, you add 23 to it, you stop at 38. Or I can say the question like this, find the probability the quiz question can be answered in less than 38 seconds. So this will be probability x less than or equal to 38. Is the equal matter? The answer is no, because this is a x is a continuous random variable. Now, let's draw a picture. So for the picture, I would like to use the same picture again. So I would like to use this picture again, except there is some modification. So 15, assuming 15 is right here, so 15, and then this is 38, and then this is the probability that we are looking for, right? So what is another way to say this? Another way to say this is the probability that x is between 15 and, and 38. Now, we have to change the PDF based on what? Based on the given. I should use another color to, to take care of this. So based on the given x greater than or equal to 15. That means I already know that the minimum is 15 or above. It's no longer zero or above. So that means you have to change the PDF. Because now the minimum is equals to 15. So the PDF is f of x equals to 1 divided by 60 minus 15. So f of x is now equals to 1 divided by uh, 45. So that is 1 over 45. So that means you have to change the 1 over 60 to 1 over 45. So that is the new height of the rectangle. All right. So now we go back to our math. Then this is a 38 minus 15 times 1 over 45. Oh, by the way, when you do this uh, in your calculator, you if you want to do this in one line, you have to use a parenthesis for 38 minus 15. So that is equals to 23. So you have to draw a parenthesis and then you divide it by 45. So you are doing 23 divided by 45. So you take 23 divided by 45 and then you provide an approximation 0 0.5111. All right, so this is your answer. Okay, so the next one is, given that a student has spent more than 20 seconds on a question, but the question is not solved, find the probability that the quiz question can be answered in more than 50 seconds. More than 50 seconds, so greater than 50. So we use another color for that. So part I is probability that given, given what? Given more than 20, so x greater than 20, and then find more than 50, so x greater than 50. Okay, then we draw a graph. So we use the same graph, but I know we have to make some modifications. So greater than 20 is right here, and then greater than 50 is right here. So the 
reason of bringing up this problem is because greater than 50 is already greater than 20. So as long as you have a number greater than 50, that number must be greater than 20, right? So we don't need to shade any area between the 20 and 50. But the thing is, how do you change the PDF? Tell me, how? How do you change the PDF? So since the given is 20, so this is how, when you change the PDF, you change the minimum based on the given, all right? So based on the given, look at the previous problem. The given is 15, it's based on 15. So this one you do, uh, so this time now, the minimum is 20, the maximum is now 60. So the PDF is one divided by 60 minus 20. So that is one divided by 40 that you cross this out. I don't mind you cross this out on, on, on your paper. So one divided by 40, you cross that out, that, that tells me you understand but what's going on, right? And then the math is, we are looking for probability that the x is between 50 and 60. So that means we are doing 60 minus 50, 50, not 15, 50, and then times the PDF 1 over 40. So that is a 10 divided by 40. So 1 fourth is 0 0.25. So that's how you answer this conditional probability problem. So that will be the end of this video. If you think my instruction is helpful, please like, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below. I appreciate your help really, really much. I see you all in the next lesson. In the next video, I will talk about how to answer percentile problem. All right, I see you all in there. Signing off for now.